Hello, Bob Vintage Lambo. Let's take a look what we got here. Two really neat rally clocks. And what I received is the two rally clocks and these two separate brackets. Um, there were a couple screws missing on the back side that holds it to this bracket. So uh, what he would like is he doesn't want anything too thick as far as it bringing it up and he wants to have these both together a little bit spaced so that he can uh, you know function the uh, stopwatch and everything well so uh, that that was my task so I've machined up a bottom bracket here to mount them both together and I machined uh, two small little uh, clock screws and so, uh, so here we have it. So it is really, really just uh, uh, very neat to uh, take a look at these things. <laughs> just, just looking. I'm not. I don't even want to touch them. But anyway, they're going in the mail tomorrow, and he's going to mount it, I believe, in an XKE. So it should be super neat. Okay, so we're going to show a few uh, clips of me making the bracket and the screws, and that's about it. Okay, a little bit laborious, but uh, just has to be done. I'm really cutting this down pretty thin, so holding this in the vise uh, is, um, I'm crossing my fingers. So I'm just doing 15,000 cuts with the 19 millimeter end mill. Uh, just going slow, slow, slow. So I just have to finish this thing, so it's just going to take a little time. Okay, I think uh, this is uh, the nail biter is almost over here. So uh, the milling thing, let's just see what we got underneath here. So this is real good for me. Um, we're gonna be putting the uh, clocks on here and I needed to make sure that this was a, you know, a level playing field. So I think this is gonna work out. I'm very, very fortunate. I'm only holding it on here by about 65 thousandths uh, on this vise. So I was like really a nail biter there. It went slow and it worked out okay. Things are working out, uh, no mishaps, really good, because one mishap scraps the whole thing. So what I do is, uh, actually this plate and this plate are different in the whole locations by a fraction. So this, I put this on, and I did this with the other one. I put one hole in, thread it. Then I thread this in place, and now, I have my plate in place and pretty solid so that when I put in a punch, now this punch, I had to get it this size because you see how the screws are, they're tapered. So I had to get it just so that just the tip would just nick it. And then I take this off and then I finish my center punching. Okay, let's go forward. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to establish the hole uh, by holding it like this to make sure that I can get it into that center mark. If I veer off that, I'm in trouble. So I want to make sure that that, so I hold this with my hand. I go uh, very lightly. Uh, it has been no problem. Then I go ahead and I take this out, put it in to a hand drill. I lock this in the vise and then I make sure that I'm vertical and I put the thread in. Okay, almost there. Uh, there were uh, a couple of special screws that were missing. So I need to just make a couple and uh, I think we're just about there. Clean her up um, and paint. Okay, one of the last steps, I have to put a taper. Um, I have to put a taper right inside here, so um, 
The only thing I can use is a, you know, a small file. I can get also a jeweler's file, but this one I think might work out okay. So let me see what I can do here. And then the screws are done. Okay, one down, one to go. All right, I think it's good enough. Yep, it'll work. Okay, coming towards the end. So here's the uh, a rally stopwatch here. Here's the plate, and you see how this uh, factory plate was made? So it's braced all around the perimeter. So these little three little screws don't take uh, any of the load when you're pushing down and operating the uh, stopwatch and also the other rally clock. So here's the four that uh, it had, but it needed six, so I had to make a couple of them. So we're almost there, almost there. Okay, not my best video. The settings are probably all wrong, but you can see that I have these three clearance holes in there so that the screws can go through the back side here and go into it. So I have uh, the, the one missing screw down on the bottom and the other, the two right up here are the originals. So uh, looking pretty good. I'm gonna mount the other one on, make sure everything fits. And then I will uh, smooth everything out and then paint it. And then we'll have a, uh, a nice rally gauge pack. All right. Well, I hope you like this uh, content on making this little bracket. And uh, if you'd like to, please like and subscribe. I will see you on the next one. Bye now.